Um, I have the pleasure here to be with Todd Adams, who is president of DI Partners. You are giving a whole series of the courses here. In fact, what, what makes Cydia so unique is not only the trade show, which was fabulous. There were 30,000 30, 30, visitors this year, which is a right. record. But it was also 300 different courses, of which you, you actually uh, did it 25, I think. I, was, which I, is, I taught about 25 hours of courses, some okay. full-day workshops and some seminars. Okay. That training is one of the key factors, I think, that as, as we look at the products, there, were, there was one, one AV receiver that, that's 11.2. We saw a couple of other products that looked like uh, uh, airplane fighter, you know, you'd have to be an airplane, an airplane pilot to be, able to, 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 to be able to use it. It's becoming very complicated. I'd like to have right. your opinion on, as an ex, someone who writes books and does these trainings, how has that evolved, okay? How do you, you know, but where is that going to go? Let's take out our little crystal ball again and say, what do these people have to do to keep pace with the technology that's, that's coming at them? Well, and it's kind of interesting. If you look at the old college stereo, it's a couple speakers, a receiver, <laughs> you plugged it in, you were happy, yep. right? Now, let's look at today's 11.2 system. You got 11 channels of amplification. You got devices like the media server, cable boxes, DVD. They all generate a lot of heat and have power requirements and cabling requirements. It's vastly more complex. So now we can't just take a stereo, put it in a cabinet, hook it up, and make it work. We have to understand things like interference from cables, right? Power requirements, ventilation requirements, serviceability. The list goes on and on. So it's gotten to the point where it's so complex and there's so many disciplines involved. The education is just a constant part of what we do. And and the and the multi room, it's become rather complicated because if 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 you if you've got five sources, okay, and you want ten rooms, well, how do you do that with with uh, with digital? Well, look at a, a very simple example: the iPod. Okay. So we want to have iPod in our home. Where do we put it? Where do we allow the customer to plug it in? Which one of those rooms makes the most sense? Should we have it in multiple rooms? Should we port around the video? How do we port around the video? Are we going to do a component, composite, high definition, RF, baseband? Right? You can see up this one small device, there's several dozen questions that have to be answered, and they have to be done in, in an appropriate way so that it not only meets one particular customer, but all your customer needs moving forward over a long period of time. So how, how, are, the, how are these install integrators going to learn? I mean, they can't all come here to Cydia, and they can't all go to the Cydia in the U.K. and see they're somewhere in Bangladesh or in India or God knows where, okay, and they want to learn. What, what, how are we going to do that? How are we going to train them? You can't be, all, you can't be globe trotting around the world, though you do quite a bit. I, I, I absolutely <laughs> have the opportunity to travel the world. Well, one of the missions of our company and why it was created was just to fill that need. So our company will come directly to you. I don't care where you are. It's less expensive to bring a trainer, bring the material to your location, and train. So to that end, we're looking at places as far flung as Australia, South Africa, UK, Ireland to deliver education, including throughout the states. So we can deliver it to distributors, through trade organizations, directly to dealers. But it's gotten to the point where education is now a deep part of what the industry is and has gone past what you can get here at a trade show. With 300 classes, you'd be lucky to get 5% of those, 1% of those, right? So maybe maybe the way to do it is get get a little bit of it up on the internet and maybe maybe we can maybe we can think about uh, doing some e-learning, e-training for some of these people because you can't be at, you can't be at 10 places at the same time, but with one course you can be in a million places at the same time, right? Yeah, absolutely. I have a number of books now that I've written and our company puts out that does address this, and we've got some e-learning, and we're heading down that path, and I'm hoping you and I can work together. <laughs> well, not, have some I, fun. Well, maybe the next time we do a video clip together, we'll have a little scoop for our readers and viewers. I thank you very much for this opportunity. All right, cool. I'm looking forward to seeing you back in Europe maybe in the next uh, couple of months. I'll be there in late October to do project management and design. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you then. Great. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you.